Welcome back. The aftermath of a devastating earthquake in Turkey is a humanitarian crisis that officials say is only going to get worse. News 8's Adam Pinsker spoke to a group with ties to Indiana and is trying to help out. The Crescent Project is a Christian organization. It started in Fishers and is located in nearly 100 countries. Right now, it cannot get supplies into Turkey, but it is raising money for relief workers on the ground. The earthquake that struck Turkey left a trail of devastation spanning several miles in two countries, killing thousands of people with aftershocks still being felt. Sometimes they're digging by hand because they can't get machinery. And there's snow and hail. Fouad Masri with the Crescent Project says conditions are so bad it's too early for supplies to be brought in by private organizations. So his group is raising money to send directly to the affected areas. We raise the funds and we give them to contacts on the ground and the funds will go to purchase in country, you know, food, diapers, uh, you know, baby, baby milk, uh, you know, shelter, blankets, tents. Central Indiana has a sizable population of Turkish and Syrian residents, among them Mohammed Almahelm, who lives in Lebanon, Indiana, but was in the region for a medical procedure Monday when the quake struck. A translator told us Alma Helm hasn't heard from some of his relatives. He lost his auntie's husband. He has uh, four of his uh, auntie's uh, ch children that are in the hospital injured right now. And then uh, there are four more that are under the ground right now, under the buildings. Masri estimates 23 million people are affected by the quake. Many of those who survived are left with nothing. Where would they go? I mean, if you if the, most of the town is on the... the um, on the ground because of the earthquake, where would you go? You, you, I mean, you start a fire, but you're in the open. And if you want to donate, head to our website and click on the link to this story. Adam Pinsker, Wish TV, wishtv.com, and follow us on Facebook.